YouTube family, welcome back to the channel, T Infinity 2. T Infinity here back again with another message for you. So, um, today we're going to be taking a look into the energy for the collective and all. Okay, this is for the conscious collective, T Infinity 2 family and all. And we're going to see what the most light and the archangels have for us today, July 25th, 2023. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, this is general. Like I said, it may not resonate with everybody, but if it resonates with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. So in the last video, we were talking about what was behind the scenes this week. What is going on behind the scenes this week? Today, we are going to be taking a look at what we are actually attracting. What are we attracting this week, okay? What do our archangels have to say to us? And what can we expect when it comes to love? Okay, so the first deck that I'm going to start off with is the Super Attractors deck. And we're going to get a couple of messages from our ancestors and our spirit guides. Thank y'all. <laughs> this was a lot. It's about five, but I'm going to take all of them. Okay, I'm going to take all of them. At the bottom of the deck, it says, My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feelings and thoughts. So you could be practicing good feelings and good thoughts. You could be practicing gratitude. You could be just being joyful, being happy, celebrating yourself. Okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing. For others of you, you could be seeing a hella dragonfly. You could be seeing hella dragonflies. If you're seeing dragonflies, this message is definitely for you. If you could just sit in a park a lot or sitting somewhere and dragonflies just come and fly past you, then this message could be for you, okay? It says, when I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with ever-present stream of well-being. So this is giving me like a lot of you could be around a lot of different people. Just by you being around these people, they can feel your energy of well-being. And because of this, they know that you attuned or aligned yourself with the energy of the universe, okay? And this is helping you to be more present and helping you to bring well-being to others. That's what I'm saying here. So you're attracting well-being. And because you're attracting well-being, you are... Um, you are radiating well-being to others as well, okay? They can look at you and tell that you take care of yourself, that you love yourself, that you drink your water and things like that, okay? They could tell that. They could tell you have fruit on your tree, lots of fruit on your tree. They could tell that you are healthy, a healthy stalk. That's what I'm seeing here, a healthy stalk like a tree, how it looks healthy and has fruit growing off of it, many branches, it's thick, you see what I'm saying? It's not easily broken, it's not thin, like this is what you look like, okay? And it says, when I tune into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. People can look at you and tell that you are abundant. I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. I'm telling y'all, somebody in my collective is having a baby or is pregnant or is going to be pregnant. That's what I'm seeing here. Appreciation dissolves all blocks. It Appreciation dissolves all block it, blocks. So basically, if anybody's trying to send you blockages because you show gratitude, like I already said, it's not going to work. To the presence of my super attractor power and then i tell y'all we we're looking into the super attractors deck you are very much attracting you have superpowers that's what i'm seeing here when i'm in a state of appreciation i'm in vibrational alignment with my true love nature and you are definitely attracting true love and that's exactly why i got the love oracle deck out today so that we could take a look into these energies because I already feel like some of y'all, y'all found y'all true love and y'all about to have a baby. Yes, be careful come this full moon. If you're not ready to have a baby, use protection. That's what I'm hearing here because that energy is potent. This is a super moon, by the way. So yeah, this energy is super powerful. 
okay and it's super attracting so be mindful because you are in a state of appreciation and you're attracting a lot of things into your life okay a lot of great things that's what i'm hearing here so continue to feel good continue to feel good that's what i'm seeing here okay we're gonna go ahead and take a look into our archangel deck archangels what do you have to say to us today thank you victory this says victory so you have victory family infinity to family you have victory i'm not sure if, yeah you can see it right there victory and it says archangel sandal fun your prayers have been heard and answered have faith okay have faith and i wrote that down i just wrote that down before i even look look where is it at faith faith you see that so yes those are some important points that i had wrote down but we're going to get into those in another video okay not this video and look oh my goodness patience patience you have patience so you have faith and you have patience and, and this is how come your answers have been look those shocker they don't want me to talk this is exactly why your answer your prayers have been answered okay yes look take back your power take back your power our angel Raziel says use your god-given power and then i just say you have superpowers Yes, you do. If you watch my channel, you have superpowers. Or if you don't have superpowers and you're watching my channel, then you probably are around someone that has superpowers. Okay? And you probably haven't tapped into your superpowers yet. Or if you watch my channel and you haven't tapped into your superpowers yet, more than likely, you probably are getting ready to tap into your superpowers. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. It says, use your God-given power and attention to manifest blessings in your life. And you must be manifesting right now as well. Anything else from the Archangel deck? Two more. All is well. So if any of you were wondering about your health, your health is well. If any of you are wondering about your finances, your finances are well. If any of you are worrying about your mental well-being, I'm hearing you have brilliant, brilliant ideas. I'm seeing this here. And I'm hearing here, use those ideas, okay? Our Andrew Uriel says... Well, Archangel Jeremiah says all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings. You will soon understand. Okay, so there are still things that are hidden. And those are good things that are hidden. Okay, brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take actions to bring your ideas to fruition. So if you had an idea to do something, this is confirmation. This is confirmation to you. Do it. Do it. Okay? Your archangels are behind you and they are confirmation and they are striving and guiding you. Okay? Archangel Zakiel says, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So there is a hidden situation that you may not know about that is going to be exposed here. I don't know if you can see how this card looks, but it's like a real big light that this angel is holding. And this is saying that something is going to be exposed that you don't know about. Okay, but all is well. All is well. Okay, so now what we will do is we will get into our love oracle. We're going to get into the love oracle. Archangels, show us what we need to see from the love oracle, please. Thank you. A message for you. So this is st straight up a message for you. If you click on this video, this is a message for you. This is confirmation to you. This is directly for you, not anyone else, okay? I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. This is what somebody is wanting you to know. Okay? If you're watching my video, this is for you. Okay? Power. And what did I tell y'all the whole time? You have super powers. Right? 
You instinctively know what is right for you. You have the power to say no or to walk away at any given time. Okay? This is you. You have the power. So there is a snake around you. And I feel like I already told y'all that. I feel like I already told y'all that there's something going on around you that you don't know about that's sneaky behind the scenes. And also there's something going on around you that's good. That's a hidden blessing. Okay, we're going to pick something from my homie Oracle deck so we can see what is going on here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ooh. Something is fast, sped, swift, quick. Something is happening very quick. Somebody thinking about you right now, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we need to see from this deck? It came out. Anyway, do y'all see that? Spirit in the building. Spirit is in the building. Look, high vibe and Holy Spirit is in the building. I could never make this up. Sexual energy. So there's some type of sexual energy here that's coming in fast, swift, and rapid because somebody here wants you. Okay, they love you. They thinking about you right now. Anything else from this? attraction what we've been talking about this whole video you attracting right now okay you attracting right now look this is just the beginning dimples okay so if you have dimples this message is definitely for you okay so you're attracting something very big here you attracting something very big here because somebody was trying to keep you stuck intentionally with manipulation so we are definitely gonna look into that and they were trying to do this real quick trying to do something real quick hey move this move that do that write that write that put that down move that like that put that out matter of fact let me see that's what i'm hearing here <sighs> like somebody is trying to hurry up and rush to do something because they know that you are powerful and they know that you know their ass is a snake and we're going to clarify each and every single one of these. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us about this keeping you stuck intentionally with manipulation. Why you show us this first? Why you show us this? Somebody here was doing this because they know that you are powerful. That's that's the real reason why. And they know that you attracting big things into your life. That's really why they're doing this. What did I tell you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> what did I say? Look. Happiness. Happiness. This is happiness right here. The sun card here. You very happy. Also, you are intuitive. You are powerful. You instinctively know things. That's what this this why they upset here. Because you instinctively know things. You could be a Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, Sun Moon Rising. That's what I'm seeing here. You instinctively know things. And you probably expose this person for putting for trying to yeah, for trying to do some magic on you. Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. This could be a Leo or you could be a Leo or this could be happening right now going into Leo season. These people were trying to keep you stuck intentionally, but guess what? Your archangels whispered something in your ear, okay? And they told you about this. This could have been a Sagittarius, one of your guardian, guardian angels I'm hearing here. A Sagittarius is somebody's guardian angel. Yeah, this Sagittarius wanted you to know that somebody was keeping you stuck intentionally with manipulation. This could have been with money. I showed y'all that Queen of Pentacles, right? This could have been somebody's mother that was trying to keep them stuck intentionally. Or this could have been your mother trying to keep you stuck intentionally. Okay? Somebody here is not okay with this. Yeah, nine of swords here. They can't even sleep at night. Or they're being haunted, I just heard. Yeah, ten of swords here. Because they are a backstabber. 1444 on this clock. And they was trying to do this real quickly to you. Real quickly to you. Why you show us quick, fast speed, fast speed, swift, and rapid? Why'd you show us this Holy Spirit? Look. 
king and queen of wands. This was two karmic motherfuckers. That's what I'm hearing here. They was karmics. They was karmics. And they tried to do something real quick to manipulate your energy. Think I'm playing queen of swords. Uh, this is Leo's. This is also Aries or Sagittarius's. Okay? I'm not saying that they're low vibrating or karmic. But I'm just saying I feel like these are two karmic peoples right here. Yeah, they try to do something to you, Infinity Two Family, but you blocked it, or you cut that off, or you re returned it back, or you were already knowledgeable, like I said, and knew what was going to happen because you instinctively know things. Okay, you instinctively know things. Tell me about this uh, King and Queen of Wands. Tell me about this King and Queen of Wands, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this was a group of people to do something to this. To this husband or to this masculine king of pentacles. These people was trying to do something with the group intentionally to keep you and your masculine stuck. That's what I'm seeing here. And your guardian angel is out here trying to tell you this or trying to show you this or give you signs about this. Okay, yeah, through your intuition. Through your intuition, okay? Because two people... They jealous of this, a masculine and a feminine is trying to make it seem like they don't know what the hell they did. But they know the magic that they did to try to keep you stuck and try to keep your intuition stuck. Okay, they try to manipulate you. They try to manipulate you and your guardian angel is trying to tell you and show you this. Okay, because this is a message for who? For you. You could have been feeling dizzy or you could have been feeling disoriented. This was the, the spiritual attacks that these people are sending towards you. Okay, this masculine and this feminine. I'm trying to tell you. You could have been feeling dizzy. You could have been feeling uh, unorthodox or disoriented. Okay, it's all because it is. Because they were trying to send some mental energy towards you to try to cause you to be off balance. See, two of pentacles, off balance. I'm trying to tell y'all, this Leo season, but you had strength. You had strength, because why? Because you're high vibing and the Holy Spirit is around you at all times. Why would you show us this Holy Spirit high vibing? Look, and they see that you're still celebrating and they having a powerful realization, a tower that... that you already know what they're trying to do to you because you instinctively know different things because you have the power to walk away at any given time. And I feel like you did. You made a decision, but it won't based off of guilt. OK, it was based off your true self, your guardian angel. Like I said, you have two cards out here that's showing you that you have your guardian angels that's surrounding you at all times. Yeah. Yeah. So, therefore, there's nothing that they can do to try to keep you stuck because you're still attracting everything that you desire, okay? Because you're very powerful, because you're very powerful. And they try to use a group of people, three of cups, with sex magic. I'm hearing here. So since these people was jealous, jealous and envious of you the whole time, they asses is getting judgment. Their ass is getting judgment right now, okay? Because they try to do these rituals on you. Even though you are guarded by your archangels. And that is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Ace of Swords here. Because they thought you was a fool. But they was a fool. You see this baby here. Yeah, this baby message keep coming up too. They was a fool. Whoever this was. This could be an Aries. They was a fool for trying to keep you stuck intentionally. Or try to continue to keep you stuck intentionally. That's what I'm hearing here. Yep, they're a fool for that. And they having to start from ground zero. That's what the Lord said. The high refine. And they still could be in a commitment. That's what I'm seeing here. Wanting to work it out. So before we go, let's go ahead and get some messages from the moon. Okay. Let's get some messages from the moon. So now you have, you have received some more knowledge about what's going on behind the scenes. A time to give rather than take in reverse. 
So this is a time to receive rather than to give. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. You could be a Virgo, no moon in Virgo. Any other messages here, Holy Spirit? Balance, spirituality, and practicality, Pisces. Something's going on between the Virgo and the Pisces, too. I'm not sure what, but I'm going to look deeper into that. And anything else, Holy Spirit, for this message? Look, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So I hope that this message helped you and resonated with you. Leave a comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my new video. Peace.